Good morning, YouTube. Mike the Gambling Guy here. Hey, I'm just going to come on live onto my online account. I'm going to play some Baccarat this morning. So if you like this kind of content, please hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. Uh, also, I would be interested to hear, I've got this new shelf back here. I'd love to, love to hear what you think should be on that shelf. Um, but here we're playing Baccarat. So if you're not familiar with Baccarat, I'm going to go through and I'm explain the rules a little bit. Um, so it's, it's whoever can get the closest to nine uh, by drawing two or three cards. And the dealer does all the work here, so. <laughs> she just waved to say hello. That was cute. So we're still here at the beginning of the shoe. I haven't really taken a look at this shoe yet. I do track the bead road over here on the left more than the main road on the right. And you're, if you're interested in playing in the exact same website that I use, feel free to send me an, an email and I'll tell you what site it is. I'm not allowed to mention it on YouTube. It goes against their policy. But my uh, email is super simple. It's MikeTheGamblingGuy at gmail.com. And you can see my current balance down here in the bottom left-hand corner is currently at $10,802. Uh, what I'm trying to do is win two units per shoe. My unit is a $50 unit. It's one two hundredth is really what I is where I'm at. I try to keep a 200 unit bankroll. That way, if I do take a loss, it doesn't really doesn't hurt me. <laughs> doesn't hurt me inside here, inside here, or really that much there. I can get that back, right? Now I do not play the Martingale strategy. I do use a D Lambert strategy. And I'm going to go ahead and make a bet. So again, I'm only trying to win two units. Normally doesn't take too long. We'll see. So we'll see as the cards come out. See who can get the closest to nine. I'm looking for the banker to win. And if I win, I win 95 cents on the dollar betting on the banker's side. So the player always flips over first. So the player has a 5. 8 and a 7 is a 5. Not 15. In this game, it's actually 5. You always subtract the 10. And the banker has a 7. So look at that. We won. Ta-da! <laughs> Just like that. We're, we're one unit in. And I don't bet every time. I'll, I'll sit here and I'll, I'll watch, the, watch the game. Because uh, what I'm looking for is the energy that's in, inside the game. So, uh, you know, a lot of times you, you, you have that that feeling that, oh, I, I should have bet on this because I saw that that was coming. Well, that's actually the, the energy, the vibrational energy of the game speaking through you to, to let you know. It's also called intuition. It's a good thing to have. So here the player has 10 out of 10, which 10s are zeros, so the player has zero. The banker has eight. It's a natural eight. So if the, if the banker or the player has a natural eight on the first draw of an eight or a nine, they automatically win. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bet on the banker again here. Not that I like to win 95 cents in the dollar. And that's what they pay. If you bet on the player, it pays, pays you even money, one to one. But the banker has a little bit of a little bit of a commission we have to pay. Now, the house edge on this game is just over 1% if you're playing the player or the banker side. So as far as the, the house edge, it's, it's not that big a deal. So the banker has a five, players do, player has to take a card. So anytime the player has a card that's five or number that equals five or less, they have to draw a card. The banker's rules are a lot crazier than that. I'm actually going to create another video that talks about that. Um, but at this point, I'm going to go over to the next room because we already got our two units here, right? So we're up to 10, 897. So what I'll probably do just to round that up is I'll get on this website. They have a single hand blackjack. I'll just play $1 blackjack until I get those $3 to, to even my, my bank up. But we won the two units, so that's fantastic. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and I, I want a tipper as well. Where where the tip box go? Usually there's a tip box up here. Maybe that's because she's actually playing. There we go. There's the, there's the tip box. And the thing that you notice when she notices the tip... She'll actually, if I had the volume on, she would say, you know, she'd thank me, but she goes, tap, 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 tap. 
and the whole room goes. <laughs> they all they all clap at the same time. I love that. Right, so that five bucks, I can get that back. So let me uh, open up the other room, and I'll be right back. And here we are. You can see my balance is exactly the same, and we're in the another Baccarat room on the same website. So the player's going to have to take another card. The banker might take another card depending on what the player had. But player pulled a 10, so the banker didn't have to pull another card. So the banker won. And once again, we're, we're, we're putting, our, putting our money on the banker. It's not my favorite place to do it, but the, the way the energy of the game is going, it's saying this is where you should be betting is on the banker right now. So let's see what cards come out. Player has a one. Six and a five equals one. Banker has a eight. Natural winner. <laughs> Look at that. The energy of the game is is just is just our friend. I mean, it's 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 really crazy the way that the energy of the game works. So I'm using a D Land Bear betting system, which what does that mean? Um, so it's different than the Martingale. Martingale is where if I would have lost that bet, I would double that bet. So every time I would lose, I would double my bet. So my bet would, in this case, would have went from 50 to 100 to 200 to 400 to 800 to 1600. <laughs> you can see that you get that sickly feeling in your stomach. Yeah, when you when you win one bet, you win. Uh, as soon as you win that bet, you win all of your other losses back, and you gain whatever your original bet was. So in that case, it would have been um, fifty dollars for me, since I'm at a fifty dollar unit. Um, yeah, the Martingale strategy was actually developed or became popular by some guy named John Henry Martingale. I mean, it's named after him. Now you, you shouldn't be real surprised about that. <laughs> Here we go. It might be our last bet. Um, that it was real. Uh, that it was named after him, but it, he kind of has a funny backstory. He was uh, actually a man that lived in the 1800s in London, and he was actually a casino owner. He was very hands-on casino owner, and he'd go around and talk to his patrons, and he'd give them betting advice. Well, he'd say, "Well, if you lose, just double your bet," and that that end up being known as the Martingale. Well, does that sound a little self-serving to have? The Martingale created by a casino owner. I gotta tell you, um, the Martingale works all the way up until it doesn't, and your bankroll is gone, and it's in John Henry Martingale's pocket, <laughs> right? So, so I'm actually gonna be bringing you uh, some different money management strategies that are very well known, but they were actually created by mathematicians. Ha <laughs> ha! Imagine that crazy that you'd want to do math based on mathematicians. So don't do what everybody does. Everybody's out there doing the Martingale and it just doesn't work forever. You're gonna hit a streak that is just gonna blow you up. I mean, you can see here's here's a streak. If you were betting blue, if you were betting player because player pays even money, I don't wanna pay that 5% commission when I eventually win, you'd be getting hurt here because that just went a seventh red, right? You Maybe you didn't even start until Till after the third. Once the third goes, now I'm going to bet that it goes blue. Because if you're over here on the main road, you're expecting that it only went as high as here, and it's going to come back. So now you would have, I would have bet 50, I'd have bet 100, I'd have bet 200, I'd have bet 400. This next bet would be 800. Well, this room only goes to 500. I actually would have had to jump over to their other room. Their other room goes from, um, it's actually the same dealer, sitting at the same table. It's just the table stakes are different. So I'd have to jump out of this one, jump into the other one where the table stakes are actually, well, there's the player finally won. So I would have won on the, the $800 bet, I believe. Um, whew, it would have made $50, um, but it would have been an $800 bet after all the other after all the other money that I was out. $750 was already on the table that I had lost. Um, so I'm betting $800 to win my $750 back plus the $50, right? But the other table here goes up to $5,000. So there's a lot of room if you have the bankroll room to do it. That, that, that would be a key there is you'd, you'd really need the bankroll room uh, 
and, and able to do that. So just to get me closer to my goal here, um, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to make a $10 bet. Oh, can't make a ten dollar bet in this room. All I can make is a twenty five dollar bet because that's my that's my minimum. I hope I don't have to show you a bad a bad martingale. <laughs> I'm actually not going to martingale. I'm going to still be, so I'm still going to do D Lambert, but we've already got our two units. I like to get my two units and just get out of the room. So here I've got a four. The player is going to have to take another card unless the banker has a natural. And the banker has a one. Player takes another card of four, so we want the banker to be below four. And then, then they didn't. And in this case, I'm actually going to be um, so deal and bear. Then I go to two units. In this case, I was playing twenty-five dollar units. So we're going to go up to uh, fifty dollar bet. So that, that'll get us uh, over my goal of being at eleven thousand dollars. Now my my overall goal for this bankroll is actually to get this to uh, initially $60,000. And you're probably thinking, wow, that's that's a great bankroll. Well, at $60,000, actually it's at $50,000. It allows me um, to, to play at a $200 unit level. And a $200 unit, if I win, oh, that went straight against us there. Um, then I would... Um, don't normally play every hand um, but because I played that first one just trying to catch the blue now we're now I'm trying to the energy of the game should be hopefully coming back to uh, to the blue side here but what I want to do is play a, a $200 unit win 10 units a day $2,000 a day do that for five days so that's 10 grand so I can I can withdraw 10 grand um, every five days or every every week if I take a couple days off but 10 units is really easy to do. You've seen we've already won four. I've given a little bit of that back. I've got a natural eight, so hopefully the, the natural eight here is gonna stick. Doesn't end up with a tie or a nine against us. So that pays one to one. So um, you can see when I had to bet three units in the D-line bear system, that brought me back to even because first unit, first step was one unit. Second one was two units. The third is three. Well. One plus two equals three. So it actually brought me right back to where I was. If I was on the banker side, I would have been a couple dollars behind where I was uh, because of the 5% commission. But that, that is what it is. If I have to make up the 5% commission playing um, playing blackjack, I certainly can and will. I'm certainly willing to do that. So the banker came back with a natural eight. And if I had to guess, I would say the banker's going to come again. I'm not saying it's going to be a natural eight. Uh, the one thing that hasn't shown up in this shoe at all yet is a tie, which is unusual. So we've already gone three columns over. So 19, 19 hands without a tie. That's, that's pretty unusual. Player has a five. They're going to have to take a card. Doesn't matter unless I get a natural, which I did. So the so the banker did get a natural. So that that put me at eleven thousand eleven dollars. So this is going to wrap up the session. Again, if you if you enjoy watching somebody play Bakra, and I hope you would would join me on my journey as I take this to sixty thousand, back to fifty, up to sixty, back to fifty, <laughs> um, eventually. And then uh, so you can see, yeah, and, and she she does deserve a, a tip there. So we're gonna. Go ahead and give her a tip uh, because uh, that, that's the right thing to do. That's that's what they're here for. They're here to make money. And uh, apparently, because I caught her late, she wasn't able to do her clap, clap, tap, tap, um, which I enjoy. But you see the player's got a natural eight. Let's see if the tie comes. Bam! <laughs> Told you that was going to be coming. Tie pays eight to one. Um, sometimes it's fun to, to play the ties and, wa and watch for the ties. 
but you don't do it for an entire unit. Because <laughs> that, that's just a little bit, uh, that's just too heavy handed when you're trying to get uh, two units per shoe. But that's it from me today. Um, looking, looking forward to creating some more content, some more videos. Make sure to uh, put, a, put a note in the caption of what should I have over here? Because right now I've got a plant and I've, and I've got this thing. I, I, I thought that would look cool on there. And it, it, you can't really tell it looks, it is cool, but you can't tell it looks cool. So I just, just got that sitting back there. So, <laughs> all right, take care. Mike, the gambling guy out.